Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. Uh, I am back with another video. So it is still uh, currently Wednesday, and uh, by the time you get this uh, video, it will be Thursday. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing the video today is because, or tonight, is because I'm going to be busy um, all day tomorrow, which will be today when you get the video. So. This is going to be my, really my only chance to actually do this video and hopefully, hopefully I won't be gone all day to where you get the uh, review of the new episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law and of course uh, whatever Sandman issue I'm on now. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Wednesday. I am absolutely, absolutely exhausted. Um... It wasn't as bad as it was the day after Labor Day, but they still kept us busy. So, um, I had a $50 um, gift, car gift, gift card, and also I got paid today. Woo! Yay! Um, so, um, I was able to buy myself uh, some comics, and I'm actually going to put money aside for next week so I can get the new issues as well. Sorry about that. So the first thing that I am going to be uh, showing you is going to be my new comic book box with Doctor Strange on it. And inside the box is my comic books, and I bought three. Um, I wouldn't say I would say they're kind of they don't have a reading age to it. I just thought it was I thought they were great because it had Batman and Scooby-Doo. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I got two books, two comic books off from uh, eBay, and I will be showing those off because I thought they were really cool. So, yeah. So, I am going <clears throat> to start off with them, and then I'm going to do uh, the Independent, and then I'm going to do DC, and then I'm going to do... Um, Marvel. So the first book I got off of eBay is She-Hulk issue number two. This is the X-Gwen variant, which is, I thought, really cool. Uh, a lot of people think that with variants, if the character is on the cover, uh, the character is actually in the comic. No, this is, uh, I think they make these variants mainly for people that collect comics um, or doing investments or whatever, but still I like the variants because they are really uh, unique and they're not like what you would expect. And then I got Radioactor Spotted Gwen issue number five. So with that I have issues one through six and later on, uh, later on this month, when I get paid again, I will be buying um, several more comics. Now, next month, uh, due to how the calendar is, we're going to be paid uh, three times. So the first two um, paychecks, I'm going to use some of the money towards my comics. Um, I want to try to get uh, Spawn issues number um, six through ten. And I also want to get five more issues of Wonder Woman, making it, um, it's like 11 through, uh, now four more issues of Wonder Woman. So, yeah. Uh, I will begin around round to get another uh, Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. I'm just going to skip uh, the expensive ones and come back to them at some point later on. So my bag. But the reason I bought the box was because the tote that my brother gave me, um, I ran out of room and I have the uh, comics like this and they're all like in alphabetical order. So, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of alter a little bit and just show you guys the non-comics. Um, that I got. So I saw this one and I'm like, this is really cool because this is something Superman 
would do. And this is Superman Smashes the Clan. Now this is actually was based on a Superman radio program. Um, I don't know how many uh, uh, episodes of Superman Smashes the Clan, but basically what I think the reason that you had uh, the, it, the uh, program Superman or the storyline Superman Smashes the Clan is because you literally have a character called Superman who was created by two young Jewish boys and And um, and this is something that I think that DC, well, what would become DC, really took um, personally, and they did this. Also, this is just something that I could see Superman doing. So, yeah, uh, the illustrations are absolutely uh, beautiful. I do have to warn people: there is a racial slur for a Chinese. I am not repeating it on the video, but uh, yeah, so this is a poll. I don't know how many issues this is to be continued. I'm going to go on Amazon and see when the second issue of Superman Smashes the Clan comes out because I want to get all the issues that happen. So yeah. And then I got Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, The Curse of the Creepy Crypt, and uh, yeah, it has... Um, I really like the, uh, the drawing, the drawing. So, <clears throat> yeah. This one I have not, <clears throat> this is still in its, um, a shrink wrap. This is Superman and, sorry, Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries Trapped in Clown Castle, which, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're eating. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start off with the uh, independent. So I'm just going to flip through these because I got a bunch of I got a bunch of Marvel, a bunch of DC. So this is actually so these are com the two of the comics are not going to be part of my collection. These are for my brother because he really likes them. So I bought issue number two of Double O Seven. I got Spawn issue number 333. Love this cover. Then I bought two copies. Um, these are two different variants. Uh, this is from IDW. Um, this is a Star Trek Mirror War. This is Troy. They did a one on Crusher. Um, I don't know if they did one on Data, but I do know they did one on Crusher. Um, but yeah. So. <coughs> so those are the only ones from Independent that I have. So for DC... Now these are all, most of these are variant covers because I'm really starting to get into buying them and only them. So this is Sword of Azariel issue number two. Now I know some people say, why are you filming this at night? Uh, for two reasons. One, I got a busy day ahead of me. And two, it just, it, the video comes out better at night. Mm. This is uh, Flashpoint Beyond issue number five. And yes, uh, Mike Spider Slayer, I did buy for this particular variant. <laughs> yeah. Then I got from the Justice Society files, Black Adam 
Atom Smasher issue number one. So I saw this on the Comic Book Palace um, yesterday, and I thought this was really cool. This is Batman Night Watch issue number one. This is supposed to be for more towards children, well, for kids. Um, and I was reading it during my break, and I noticed that it lacked any kind of profanity in it, which was really great. So, um, yeah, so this is, this is definitely geared towards children, which is why you don't have the uh, profanity in it, because a lot of your Batman and other uh, comics have a lot of profanity in it. So, yeah. Um, I got Batman Beyond Neo Year number six and a really beautiful variant. I don't know who did this variant, but it's really nice. I like it. Ugh. Yeah, Batman number 127, which has Harley Quinn in it. Um, I think that either she's behind them to hit them or she's you know i don't know but uh this is also down below the list that this is harley's uh 30th anniversary i really love that loved this variant the 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 this particular batman is really really popular so i see that if they decide to get rid of a lot of the batman titles i definitely are not going to get rid of that one because that one brings some sick cash in <laughs> um So, uh, I believe it was last week or something like that, I did a video about consistency in comics. And finally, finally, I've got the new champion um, of Shazam, issue number two of four. So I don't have to buy it off of eBay, which is really good. Then, um, I saw this issue number three, and I'm like, okay, cool. So this is issue number one of Black Adam. So this is issues one of 12, so it's going to be 12 issues of the comics. So it's going to go into next year. So I thought this was really cool. Um, yeah. And then... I got issue number two of Black Adam, and this was a, uh, this is actually listed as a $5.25 comic. Uh, mainly I think it's because it's on the variant, but yeah, really nice variant, I love it. And then I, this has got to be um, August issue. This is Black Adam issue number three of twelve. Love it. A lot of uh, I can see a lot of like emotional going on in there. So yeah, love it. Let's make sure I got don't have any more DC. Okay, so moving on to Marvel. Um, I have the new Fantastic Four issue number four. Um, I think, was it Mike Spider-Slayer made a mistake and say it was the end? Uh, no, the, no, that was a, no, that was another, that was another issue. Um, that must have been strange. Yeah, so, yeah. And then I got Moon Knight issue number 15. Yeah, 15. This is the, um, uh, is it Mighty Man? Something like that. So comic book is coming back, but um, that's his variant. So uh, let me let me uh, let me look at this because it'll probably ha it has it on the inside. Um, 
Oh, Miracle Man, Miracle Man. So, Neil Gaiman will get a piece of it because he helped create Miracle Man. So, yeah. So, the Miracle Man variant. So, I saw that. I know Miracle Man is coming back. So, I'm definitely, that's definitely going to be a comic that I will be picking up. Then I got, this is the second one from my brother. This is Punisher issue number six. And uh, this is badass. It looks like that Frank Castle is going to be fighting Ares, the god of war. So, yeah. Then I got She-Hulk issue number six. Now I do, now with that uh, X-Gwen variant, I do officially have all of the, uh, all of the She-Hulk current run comics that, um, have uh, come out. So this is issue number six. So uh, this will officially say that, yeah, I've got all of them. Until next month. All right. So uh, this was pushed back. Um, it was supposed to come out last week. It didn't. This is Wolverine issue number 24. Um, yeah, um, yeah, issue number 24, or is it, also it was supposed to be 23. I'm trying to see here. see this to save my life. Yeah. Um, I think that says issue number 25. Yeah. They got this whole thing all freaking mixed up. <laughs> oh wow. I don't know anymore. I'm actually going to go back there and um, see um, what the heck is going on because I think that because I don't know if uh, yeah yeah I think this is supposed to be issue number 24 and then the one coming up will be issue number 25. I don't know. I mean, they picked, I think, I don't know what's going on with Marvel as far as their uh, Axe Judgment Day um, comics are. But yeah, so I got Wolverine. I had to buy it because it had all Spider-Man's villains in it. And uh, Friend. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll, um, I'll have to um, look that up and stuff. Um, so I've got Axe Judgment Day, issue number six, Marauders. Um, I got Axe uh, Judgment Day, Immortal X-Men, issue number six. And of course, I bought it, even if this story sucks, major butt. <laughs> yes, I said major butt on my, on my video. I still want the variant, so... Um, then I got Spider-Man, uh, 2099 Exodus. This is the Omega. This is the end of the, uh, current, uh, storyline. So, that will probably be another comic that I probably won't be buying because I will be absolutely honest. Uh, it was, it was, they, there was still, I mean, I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, over the top. Um... You know, so, yeah, it says it's the end. So, um, I probably will not buy another Spider-Man 2099 book. Um, yeah. And this one is actually for um, a friend of mine who he is, uh, he didn't wasn't at work today, or he was sent home early, but he got issue number one of All Out Avengers. Um, I may go back to the comic book shop 
later on um, this week and get my own copy. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit. I'm gonna kind of read it, and if I like it, I'll go ahead and buy my own copy. So yeah, so those are the comics that I got in that I got either from eBay or from my LCS. Um, I really do like the comics I did get. Um, like I said, with the whole Axe Judgment Day thing, I'm still confused. Like, you know, is the Wolverine I got the next one, or is it the next one after the next one? I don't know. Um, I had really never been this invested in an event in my entire life. Like, i got to get every single comic that ties in with it. Um, I probably will go back and get the previous issues and just continue to buy them even after the Judgment Day event ends because... I'm really liking getting back into X-Men and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, it's officially uh, Thursday. Yay! <laughs> um, but uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today uh, now that it's Thursday. Um, I will be taking... Uh, what I do is basically is I'll be taking the comics from in there, transferring over to the tote, taking the ones out of the tote, put them in the new box... And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to fill this short box up, but I already eyed my next box that I will be getting. And what I'm actually seriously thinking about doing is at some point separating them based on their publisher, like independent Marvel and DC, and just do it that way, and that would probably be a whole lot better. <laughs> So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like the video as much as I enjoy making them, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.